Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you are new here, welcome. This is Car Vlog Edition. When you go to the gym, you strengthen your physical muscles. But when you become a Christian, we have to remind ourselves to continually strengthen our spiritual muscles. And sometimes that's time under tension, right? Because that's the formula for growth. But spiritual time under tension could be trials and tribulations. Or it could be faithing it until you make it. Faithing it because you're not always going to feel it. You're not always going to be motivated. But here's what happens. You need to be disciplined because when you're disciplined, that discipline will kick in when all of your motivation fades away. Today, I want to encourage you. The word said, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. James reminds us. He says, don't be hearers of the word, but be doers. There's this show that used to come on TV when I was a little girl. It was called The World's Biggest Loser. And the average weight of the contestants that would join the show was about 328 pounds. Now, you and I both know that to weigh 328 pounds, that is based off of decisions, habits, routines, Maybe there was stress involved. Maybe there was grief involved, hormones, health conditions. There could be all various reasons. But at some point, these contestants looked at themselves in the mirror and they said, we need to make a change. And James tells us, he says, when you look in the mirror, do not deceive yourselves and go away and forget what you look like. Because so many times it's so easy to go to that mirror. We think we look good and then we walk away. And we don't make any changes in our lives. And as those contestants on The Biggest Loser, they looked intently and they decided that they were going to make a change. Today, I wanna to encourage you. James says, when you look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, which is the word of God, and when you look at it intently, and you stop deceiving yourself and you stop being hearers, but instead you be doers and you act, you act accordingly to how God commands us, then you will be blessed. I pray that you feel implored today to search internally. So many times our prayers are so focused on if they would just change, if they would just be nicer, if they would just give me closure, if they would just say, I'm sorry. Today, let's look internally. Let's look internally because how you perceive is how you receive. And our prayer life needs to start with us. We have the ability to change internally. And when we see that inward change, we can then go out and help other people. How do your prayers sound? Are you checking your root? Are you checking the fruit? Do you like the fruit that you bear? Because if you don't like the fruit that you bear, check the root. And when the root is infected, and when the root is sick, and when the root has died, we need to water the root, and we need to put in good seeds and soil ground so that that good seed can grow. Check the soil. Jesus loves you.